big. They were big. Well, we're, we're fortunate today that Denise will be joining us right now. Kevin had a chance to interview her, talking about Catholic uh, spirituality. Let's take a look. And joining us now on This Is The Day is Denise Jelinek, who is a Catholic health and weight loss coach. And uh, we are so happy to have you with us, Denise. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Well, it is the new year. And uh, as usual, people start uh, thinking about uh, weight loss and weight loss programs, too. Maybe if you could talk about um, your particular program, inviting the Holy Spirit into the weight loss process and how it differs from uh, some of the weight loss things that we all know about. Yeah, well, conventional weight loss and weight loss with the Holy Spirit differ in about two unique ways. And it's one in the way that we treat ourselves, and the other is in the way that we actually do lose weight. And in conventional weight loss, it's like, I'll be nice to myself once I meet my goal. Yeah. And until then, we think that we have to be restrictive, depri deprive ourselves, or even be very critical just to stay motivated. And the other thing was with conventional weight loss methods, people typically try things that they heard work for someone else or it's something that they saw online. And then with weight loss with the Holy Spirit, we say, hey, first, let's start treating ourselves the way the Lord wants us to treat ourselves. We can be kind and supportive and gentle and encouraging and uplifting throughout the entire process, not just when we meet our goal, because it's an entire journey. The other thing is that I give women permission to discover what works for them in this season of their life. So there's two parts there. The first one is to, to discover what works for them. You know, often we hear what works for a brother, sister, mother, neighbor, best friend. And when we try it and it doesn't work, we think there's something wrong with us. No, it just might not be the best fit for you. Yeah. And so I give them the opportunity to, hey, let's just see what works for you. The second part is to discover what works for them in this season of their life. And you know this for yourself, Kevin, you've never lived this day before. You've never lived in your life circumstance that you have right now, the demands of life. And since our lives are always evolving and changing, we're always in new seasons. So what worked maybe five or 10 years ago won't work in this season of your life yeah. or even a year ago. And so it's really just discovering what's best for me now. Yeah. I know a lot of people, um, when they think of, um, oh, you know, maybe eating to excess or, or, or having some difficulty with eating, the eating process too, they think about stress and stressful eating. And I wonder if you could talk about that as well and maybe how, why people do that, why they turn to food instead of maybe turning to God when, when stressful situations come up. And I know a lot of people are dealing with stress nowadays. Yeah. Well, what is stress? Stress is when the body or the mind perceives there's a danger or a threat. Okay. And so let me just tell you how your brain works. You have a part of your brain on the back. That's that watchdog. That's always looking out for danger and always looking out for threats. And in today's world, a threat is, oh, I'm running late or a to-do list that's a mile long, or maybe even not even be able to being able to answer a question. You don't know the answer to a question in a meeting. So we go into the stress response. We think, oh, that's a threat. And so we've got that watchdog always looking out for danger. And it starts barking when it hears a threat. And that's what we call a stress response, right? That's where we feel fight, flight, freeze, where we're just stressed out. Now, that's the person who stress eats. But there's another part of your brain that's responsible for calm thinking, logical thinking, strategic thinking, understanding long-term consequences, that's on the front part of your brain. And when you're thinking with that part, I like to call it the wise owl. When you're thinking with that part of your brain, you're not stress eating. But what happens to the wise owl when you perceive the threat and the dog is barking? The wise owl flies away. And the quickest way to calm a barking dog is what, Kevin? Prayer. Throw to bone, right? <laughs> yeah. And so that's what we do. Yeah. It's just very common to go ahead and stuff some food in our mouth. When we're stressed out, we feel uncomfortable and we want to put distance between ourselves and that feeling. And food is so darn effective. Yeah. And yeah. we've just gotten into these habits. And until you learn how to quiet your dog, quiet your stress response without food, which you can totally learn how to do. Yeah, yeah. Always go to food first. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe if you could talk, we're just about under, 
uh, out of time. We get about a minute left, but uh, maybe just some of the quick. I don't know if there's the biggest misconception about weight loss, but maybe if you could hit on just a one or two of them and um, and let people know about that too, because I know there's plenty out there. The biggest misconception is that you can lose weight, and the only thing you need to lose weight is a diet. Yeah. The better question to ask yourself is what's really holding up my weight loss. And typically, it's things like I'm going to fast food restaurants because I'm sitting in my daughter's, I'm sitting in the car during my daughter's dance lessons. Okay, well, how can we solve for that? So the number one thing you want to ask yourself is what's really holding up my weight loss? It's typically not knowing what to eat. Hmm. If knowing what to eat were the problem, then a diet would help. And I would give you a diet and you would follow it. But there's a reason you're not able to follow it. Well, we're just about under time, but I want to let people know um, this is all great stuff, uh, Denise. Where, where can people, if someone's, if a woman's looking for some information on how to get involved with what you're doing and, and work with you on, on this uh, weight loss process, how would they go about doing that? Yeah, weightlosswiththeholyspirit.com. Right now we've got a dollar trial in our community of Catholic women who are losing weight. And you have instant access to our entire program called Weight Loss with the Holy Spirit. Excellent. Thanks so much, Denise, for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Kevin. Have a great new year. Yeah, have a blessed day.